captain has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Everyone knows what a link is. Virtually every page on the internet has some. Not all of them always work, but they're there. Well, Flare lets you create lots of different kinds of links for your output. Two of the most popular are text hyperlinks and cross-references. The big difference between them is that text hyperlinks are static. The text in the link doesn't change. On the other hand, cross-references are dynamic. The text in the link changes automatically depending on the circumstance. If you've got external links in your project, such as links to websites, text hyperlinks are really good. But for internal links to other files in your project, we suggest that you use cross-references instead. They're just smarter. For example, if you change the heading text in the topic where a link points, a text hyperlink will still have the old text in the link, unless you remember to change it. But with a cross-reference, that link text will self-heal when you generate the output, and the correct text will always be displayed. And there's even more to cross-references. Think about links in online output, such as a web page. You know an online link when you see it. It looks, sounds, feels, smells, and tastes like a link. Okay, we're getting carried away, but you know what we mean. This is an online link. You click it, and it takes you somewhere. But a link like this won't do you much good if you're looking at a manual that's been printed on paper. Unless you have really strong superpowers, you're not going to be able to make the link do anything, no matter how hard you press it with your finger. Instead, for print-based output, you need a link that looks something like this, where it tells you what page to go to. Cross-references work great for both online outputs and print-based outputs, but the really cool thing is that the same cross-reference link inserted into a topic can be designed to behave differently in online output than it does in print-based output. You only need one cross-reference in that topic, not two. Here's how it works. First, we need to tell Flare how we want our cross-references to work. To begin with, we open our style sheet, which is in the Content Explorer. Once inside the stylesheet editor, there are just a few things you need to do. First, notice the medium field. This is a very important field, because this is how we're going to split the behavior of the cross-references between online and print outputs. A medium lets you create one entire group of style settings for some outputs, and switching to a different medium lets you create an entirely different group of style settings for other outputs. In this example, we're going to use the default medium for our online outputs, and we're going to use the print medium for our print-based outputs. Now notice this style. It's called Madcap XREF. This style will hold the information that determines how our cross-references look and behave. The main thing we're going to do in this style is create something called a cross-reference format. You can enter a combination of text and special commands to create a cross-reference format. It's completely up to you how to design your cross-references. Go nuts if you want to, but we'll give you our recommendation. In our example, we're going to make sure that the default medium is selected, and we're going to create a cross-reference format on the Madcap XREF style that looks like this. Then, we're going to change to the print medium, and we're going to create a cross-reference format that looks like this. Then, we save our style sheet, and that's it. The good thing is, you only have to set up your cross-reference formats in the style sheet once. After that, all you need to do is insert your cross-reference links in your content wherever you need them. Let's say we want to create a link right here in this topic, and we want the link to point to this other topic. So we click this button, find the topic we want to link to, and click OK. Now, remember the two mediums in the style sheet? Here's where they come in. First, we'll open the target we want to use to create our online output. In the Advanced tab, we make sure it's set to use the default medium. Then we open the target for the print output and make sure it's set to use the print medium. Then we generate the output. Here's our link in the online output. Notice that it simply has the heading text of the topic we link to. Now, here's the same link in the print-based output. Notice that it's a bit different, and tells us the page number where the other topic can be found. But the real magic of our cross-reference format happens if the topic we're linking to in print output ends up on the page before, or the page after, or the same page where the link occurs. The cross-reference is smart enough to know where the other topic is, and exactly what words it should put in the link. So depending on where that other page ends up in the output, our link might look like this, like this, like this, like this, or like this. And that is why cross-references are so cool.